Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Raphael's Insights. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I welcome you into the world's attack, the divine, the beautiful. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to this beautiful channel, welcome to this beautiful channel. If you're not new, well, welcome back. As always, I'm going to be doing the predictions for the month of August. What am I seeing? What's going on? What's coming? What's going to happen? And we'll say the month of August in the coming weeks. I think that's that's the best way for me to put it because sometimes my predictions take about either three years, it takes about three months, or it takes about three weeks for them to come true, or even like right away. So definitely something for us to keep watching to see when these predictions come true, okay? Um, but before we do get started, remember, I got to harmonize the space. I'm going to harmonize my energies really quickly and harmonize the, the space energy so that nothing negative comes in, nothing negative tries to get into, into the middle of this reading. But We'll just get started right away. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. And also, if you guys see my predictions come true, go down to the description below, leave a comment letting me know that the prediction come true because sometimes I'm so busy that I don't even realize they come true. But anyways, you guys, let's get started. And the first card that's going to be dominating this month is, of course, the eighth card of tarot. The card of the, the strength is going to be the card that's going to be dominating this month. This card tells me that in terms of climate, in terms of people it's going to be very radical the card of the strength says that protests are going to continue all over the world in the united states in the middle east in in europe um there's definitely going to be protests just all over the world the, that people are very angry they're looking for change and and the change that's happening is not necessarily what people are are looking for but this card here also tells me that we have to be careful because i do see terror attacks i do see terror attacks and we have to be careful this card here also says that it is going to be a strong month in terms of natural disasters, in terms of climate. But the card of the sun is going to be the card that's going to be dominating as well. The card of the sun tells us in terms of climate that the card of the sun is going to hold us hostage. It says it's going to hold humanity hostage. Extreme heat, more heat waves. I'm seeing. I'm definitely seeing more heat waves with the card of the sun. Earthquakes for for in the month of August as well. For Latin America, for um, the United States, Mexico, or earthquakes in general. I'm definitely seeing a strong earthquake, definitely in, in the month of August as well. The card of the sun says that fires are going to continue. And I am seeing droughts as well. Either droughts begin to move or a problem with water begins to move in terms of heat, in terms of, in terms of drought. So definitely the card of the sun is giving us a warning. It also tells us that volcanoes are going to start moving. Volcanoes are going to start moving. They're going to start waking up. I do see more volcanic eruptions. And I'm definitely seeing a volcanic eruption in Latin America. Eh, that the El Popo is going to continue to move. Guatemala. Definitely see another volcanic eruption. Um, either Costa Rica or, or Europe as well. Or India, Indonesia, but I definitely see more volcanic activity, more volcanic eruptions as well with the card of the sun. But the other thing that I'm seeing for the month of, of August, right away, I see I see like a world leader or, or someone in political power or um, or someone that I don't know. It seems to be like to me, it's like they're in political power, presidential power, but I see them in the hospital or or having problems with their health. Because the card of the Four of Swords and the card of the, of the King of Swords tells me that someone in terms of power, or that was in power, again, presidential or political, is going to be in, in the hospital. But I also see with the card of the Ten of Swords and the card of the King of Swords, it says that there's going to be another assassination attempt, another terror attack against the life of someone in, in, in political power or the death of somebody. The death of somebody in terms of political power, presidential power as well, or that was you guys already know how I like to put that. But the card of the of the of the chariot and the card of the ten of swords also tells me that there's going to be transportation accidents, plane, plane crafts, uh, planes, aircrafts, uh, falling, you could say crashes. Um, but we'll leave it in terms of transportation accidents, aircraft accidents. So definitely careful when riding the bus, careful when riding the trains, careful when 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 going on a trip. Make sure you like say a prayer, grab onto your faith. You don't want to leave yourself open. You definitely need to, we definitely need to, to grab onto our faith from what I'm seeing here. But I do see transportation accidents, um, bus, either bus, uh, aircrafts, 
falling, but I definitely see like train, but transportation accidents for sure. The other thing that, that I'm also seeing with the, the cart of the, of the world, the world tells me that there's going to be a lot of tension. I see like tensions rising between two countries or, um, and also I've already told you guys new wars. I've been seeing new wars as well. I've been seeing like a new war starting. Um, and I've already told you a prediction that I've given you in terms of a vision is that I see a war coming to the United States, something new. It seems to be like something new with, with, with someone else. But in terms of this prediction, I see a lot of tension between two countries, like tensions rising, either China, the US, the US and Russia, um, Russia and another country, or even South Korea, North Korea. But definitely, or it can even be the United States and, and North Korea, but definitely I see a lot of tensions and I do see a lot of, uh, I see more like um, troops being moved. I see more troops being moved more troops going overseas or more troops being deployed more troops being moved i'm definitely seeing a lot of tension and a lot of aggressiveness i do see riots as well i do see riots as well from from what i was looking at here and the card of the moon also tells me power outages i see power outages for um i don't know like an island for latino america the US, but I definitely see power outages. So definitely something for us to, to keep in mind as well. And I see states of emergencies in this month of August, states of emergencies, and I'm and I'm being leaned more towards Latin America, but it can be it can be Latin America, the Caribbean and Island. It could be anywhere though. But I do see more states of emergencies due to natural disasters or due to catastrophes. The fires are gonna continue. The fires are gonna continue in in Europe, in the United States, I told you in Mexico, I see fires as well. Uh, something for us to, to continue to, to keep in mind. And then one of the things that, that I did see as well is that gas prices are going to go up. I see that gas prices are going to go up. So definitely save your coin, <laughs> save your money, because I do see gas prices going up either for vehicles or for, or for just gas in general definitely and in terms of trump in terms of trump the card of the justice tells me that that he's either going to be indicted again or he's going to be arrested again um but i see that situations with trump continue to to be complicated in terms of legal as well and then i saw like an explosion in the sky i don't know what that is i see like an explosion in the sky i think i've already said it i think in my last video just want to bring it up again and in terms of Netanyahu. In terms of Netanyahu, he definitely is, is a dictator. The card of the, let me see, what card can represent him? We'll just use the card of the of the King of Swords. Netanyahu is definitely a dictator, and what he's doing is definitely that that he's trying to, he's trying to either make it so that he can stay in power or that he can make more radical changes. But Netanyahu is definitely a dictator, and um, I've already told you that I was seeing a new dictator being born, and with what he's doing, is definitely to i don't know stay longer in power or have more control but with Netanyahu, i'm seeing that he's going to be having like a heart attack or or a problem with it with his heart once again i know he just had an issue with the with the with his with his health and he was in the hospital i see him in the hospital again or i see him having a heart attack or a problem with his heart um I wouldn't say that's anytime soon, but I would. See the, but I did see it for him. I definitely do see that his heart is not, is not keeping up with him. But he is, he is a, a dictator, and I do see that things are going to continue. Protests in the middle in the Middle East, protests over there are going to continue. Riots are going to continue. But he already did what he did, and it's just gonna. He's gonna. He got his way already. I would say, he got his way, and it's and it's really very difficult and very sad that these things are happening, um, in the world. I have my little list here. That's why I keep looking at here because these are like predictions that I that I've wrote wrote down. Let's see. I do see um, terror attacks. I've already told you guys terror attacks. I see terror attacks either in India or in Indo Indonesia or in a foreign country outside of the United States. When I say foreign country, but the card of the of the of the ten of swords tells me in terms of the United States in terms of uh, terror attacks in like a mall shopping center or or in the public so definitely be careful you guys again people are are, are crazy people are, are being very very crazy let me look at my little notes one more time 
and I do see that the beaches are that they're gonna close more beaches as well. I wanted to let you guys know that I do see that they're gonna close more beaches. I do see that something's moving in terms of water. I've been telling you guys, I see a disease, I see an illness, I see something moving in terms of water, and they were telling me that there was going to be an issue with with finding bathing water and drinking water. So that's definitely some something that we have to be um, conscious about because I still see an issue with water, and in, in the extent that I'm seeing it in my vision, it's it's more of like there there is none. There is none either because of the drought or either because of diseases. And I think both have something to do with it. And I've already told you guys, I do see a new pandemic. I do see a new pandemic. The card of the four swords tells me that there is going to be a new pandemic. Either in, in 2024, we'll start seeing it, or towards the end, going into 2025. But I do see a new pandemic. Hurricanes, hurricanes, I do see that the hurricanes are going to start arriving. I think I did tell you guys that, right? In terms of a strong hurricane, I see it more for like uh, like the, the Caribbean. Let me see. In terms of a, of a strong hurricane, I see it more for like the Caribbean, uh, for the Gulf. And then I see like a stronger one or I see a strong one for the United States in September. They're going to start arriving because... I told you guys that I saw them moving since June and they still haven't arrived. So they're going to start arriving from what I'm seeing. They're going to start arriving for sure. But other than that, you guys, I believe that's it. Let me see if, if there's anything that I missed in my in my predictions here. Let's just see. Let's just see. I think I got everything. I think I think I got everything. I see solar storms. I've already told you guys that I did see solar storms. I do see solar storms in terms of like um, affecting our our communication, our our internet, our social media. But there, I see so, more solar storms. Volcanoes we talked about, and in terms of water, in terms of water, in terms of wind, this is something that I was that 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 I saw, and I was kind of like. Hmm. But the card of the of the moon and the card of the sun tells me that there's going to be both. I told you guys already that I see that there's going to be both. I see I see um, fires, I see fires, earthquakes. I see the sun very hot, but I also see a lot of water. Hurricanes finally arriving. I see uh, intense storms. I see hail. I see tornadoes. So definitely, it seems like we're gonna get it all either this month or in the next couple coming months before the year is up there's going to be a day there's going to be a month where we're going to have everything at the same time and that's that's where we need to start having some conscious some consciousness for um what's going on with climate i see that the animals are going to be suffering and the animals are the ones that are going to be suffering the most in terms of in terms of heat passing away due to extreme heat passing away due to to natural catastrophes the animals are the ones that suffer because they're the ones that really don't have that much help but other than that you guys i think that's it i think that's everything that 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 i wanted to talk to you guys about i don't think i missed anything i'm going to be doing predictions for each for each country a little bit different um for what i see in terms of each country and you guys let me know when my predictions come true and what came true and what didn't so you, make sure you guys go down to the description below and let me know if you like this video make sure you guys hit the thumbs up and it was a pleasure to bring you guys these videos once again i know you guys like these videos and i'm going to be doing them from here on out here on this on this channel you guys have a beautiful day and it was an absolute pleasure and and it's always a pleasure okay bye bye